Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound Fe2S3. Now, it looks like we have two different elements here, right? We have Fe, which is iron, and S, which is sulfur. Let's map them out on the periodic table to see, you know, what they are. So iron is right here on the periodic table. Anything in this box right here is a transitional metal, right, or a transition metal, but it's a metal nonetheless, so I'm going to color this in blue. S for sulfur, right, S is over here on the periodic table. It's a non-metal character, uh, ca uh, well, it's non-metal territory, right, so sulfur is a non-metal all the time. Okay, now we have the elements accounted for, so let's start naming. The metal name is always going to stay exactly the same. So iron is just going to stay iron. Sulfur, that's the nonmetal. That name always gets the IDE ending. So it would be sulfur, right? But I need the IDE ending. So instead of sulfur, it would be sulfide. So I have to drop that UR and add IDE. And there's the IDE ending. Now, since this is a, a ionic compound, I just need to see, do I need a Roman numeral in the middle? Well, that always goes by the metal. Since iron is in this block, you need a Roman numeral, right? It's a transition metal. So I need a Roman numeral. And the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. Well, now the question is, how are we gonna get the charge of the metal? It's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're gonna take the subscripts, crisscross them back up, and that's how we get the charges. There was two irons and three sulfurs. So this two crisscrosses up, telling me that the sulfur was a negative two charge. And this three crisscrosses up, telling me that the iron was a plus three. Metals always lose electrons, being a plus, And nonmetals always gain electrons, giving it a negative. So just do a double check. Does this make sense? Does sulfur want to gain two electrons or be a negative two charge? And yeah, the sulfur is in the group in which it has a negative two oxidation charge. So if this checks out, this has to check out. And the charge for iron was a plus three. So I go back to here and all I gotta do is just say, oh, it was iron three sulfide. And that is your final answer. So Fe2S3 is iron 3 sulfide. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I hope you guys are doing well, all right? Let's keep working hard. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.